Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 through 12. Before getting to our verses, though, does anyone else hate public speaking? When I was growing up, I used to hate speaking in public. I had quite a few ear infections as a young kid that interrupted the normal process of me hearing and repeating words, which made pronouncing certain sounds very difficult. It took a bit of speech therapy to begin correcting my speech. And this made class presentations one of my most dreaded events. I remember in seventh and eighth grade, I would try to fake being sick just so that I didn't have to get up in front of a class and talk. And when I first felt God uh, calling to be a pastor, I had a very similar reaction when I thought through uh, what that would mean and that I would have to speak in front of others as well. And Moses found himself in the same spot. He wasn't good with words like the others that he grew up with in the Pharaoh's palace. And he might have had a bad stutter or speech problem, but God didn't care. See, he didn't need someone who was good at speeches. He needed someone who would be obedient despite their weaknesses. In verse 10, we read, Moses said to the Lord, pardon your servant. Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you've spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. And the Lord said to him, who gave human beings their mouths? Who made them deaf or mute? Who gives them sight or makes them blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, and I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. See, God uses our weaknesses to his glory. And then in the New Testament, Paul sums this up for us in 2 Corinthians 12, when he says, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. So my challenge for you today is that when you, you think about what God is calling you to do, whether it be with your life or simply the next hour, don't think about how your weaknesses limit you from being able to accomplish the task. God is going to give you everything you need to be able to accomplish your calling. Think about how amazing it will be to know that God is able to use us in our strengths and in our weaknesses. So go and live out your calling, even in your weakness. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.